All right, now I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB. This video is going to show you how to install MongoDB on a Mac. In the next video, we'll show you how to install it on a PC. If you're a Mac user, watch this video. If you're a PC user, watch the next one. So the first step is to find the download page. I'm going to do that using Google. I'm going to type in download MongoDB. And when I do that, I get an ad. And then after that, I get the first organic link right here, download MongoDB. And I'm going to click on that. OK, so we come to this page, and we can see that the first thing that we're offered is MMS, which stands for the MongoDB Management Service. Now, that's a cloud service, and it's not the way we're going to run MongoDB today. We're actually going to install and run it on our computer. Now, if we look down, it offers us the most recent release. This course is going to cover MongoDB 3.0, which is the most recent release of MongoDB. It was released only weeks ago at the time of this recording. And you should download whatever is the most recent production version when you hit this page. It may not be 3.0.0 by the time you get there, but 3.0. something is what you want. And since we're on a Mac, it's already defaulted us to the Mac download. And I'm going to click this download link to get this tarball onto my computer. Now let's go to a terminal shell and figure out where it is. So I know it puts these things in slash downloads. So I'm in the downloads directory. For those who aren't sure how to get there, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so there it is in the downloads directory. I want to untar it by using the tar command, xvf, mongodb, os10, etc. That's going to expand the tarball. I'm going to enter the directory, look around. I see a readme file, the license, and a bin directory. I'm going to go in the bin directory, see what there is in here. Well, in here, we have a bunch of different programs. But the ones of greatest interest to us right this second are Mongo, which is the Mongo shell program that lets us connect to the database, and MongoD, which is the actual server. And it's the server that we want to get running. Now, the server is going to put its data in slash data slash DB by default. So we need to create that directory. Now, to do that, I'm going to need to become root. So let me do that. So now I'm root, and now I'm going to make dir slash data slash db like that. So now that there's a data slash db directory, and we're just running in development, and I'm going to keep this simple. So I'm going to actually chmod those directories 777 so that I can exit root and write to them from my account. And let's just confirm that slash data slash db is 777. And we can see that it is 777. It's world writable. So now I'm going to exit the root shell. All right. So now we're going to get MongoD running. I'm going to start it running as myself. Who am I? I'm AJE. I'm going to run it right here in this directory by typing dot slash MongoD. This will guarantee that I take the executable from the current directory and not from somewhere else in my path, because I want to make sure I get the one I just downloaded. And I do that, and a whole bunch of stuff prints out. You can see here it's listening on the port. By default, it listens on the port 27017. And you can see here it says it's listening on port 27017. Let's get a new terminal window, and let's see what my directory is. It's downloads, MongoDB, bin, good. And now let's run the Mongo shell. All right, so I connected to the Mongo shell, and now I'm going to insert something into a names collection. I'm going to insert a document with my name in it. So db.names.insert. I'm in the test database. There is one key name with a value, Andrew Ehrlichson. Hit return. It inserted the document. And at this point, if I do a find, I can see there's a document. All right, so I'm pretty much done. But just to make this work a little bit better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the server by hitting Control-C. I'm going to become root again. Now I'm root. And now I'm in the bin directory. I'm just going to copy all these programs to user local bin, just like that. And then I'm going to exit this root shell. And then I'm going to type which Mongo and I get the one at user local bin, so that means that user local bin was already in my path, which is great. And so at this point, MongoD is running, and I can go back to my home directory if I even want to do that. And if I type MongoD, it'll start the server running again. And now if I go to another shell, I can connect to it. So that's all there is to it. And now I have MongoDB running on my computer in the simplest possible configuration. This is a standalone, not a replica set and not necessarily running with the same parameters and the same configuration you'd want in production, but a fine configuration for our purposes for development. Okay.